These days, most websites now require money before you can be able to create your CV online. The funny thing is that you won't even know until you're about to download the CV. After spending so much time creating your CV, then when you're about to download it, you realize that you are required to put in your debit or your credit card before you can download your CV. But if you are seeing this video, you're very, very lucky, you know why? Because I've made it easier for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your CV with zero knowledge. Like zero knowledge, you don't know how to start in lack of you don't even know how to go about it. I'm going to show you how you can do it free of charge and you'll be able to download your CV. If you can give me 10 15 minutes of your time, I am telling you, you'll become a professional CV maker. You can also make CV for people and make money out of it. So, guys, the first thing you need to do, head over to your Google, type resume.io. So this is the website I normally use. You are free to use any website, okay? So, but this is the one I usually use to create CV. And this is for those that are lax ways. Like you don't even know how to start to build your CV. You're confused, you don't know how to start at all. So just follow these steps I'm going to show you right now and you will get your CV free. So click on create my resume. So you're going to select any template of your choice. Um, it's not really that relevant okay so go ahead and choose any template for now skip you can connect if you want add your name continue continue how do you want to start create new resume create with ai assistant we're going to click on create with ai assistant do not worry okay just follow the steps that i'm showing you you will understand later on your work experience add up to three previous jobs we need at least one to get started okay so your job title mm, for instance let's use administrative assistance okay your company and and um, start and end dates months um just use any months okay let's use 2023 um 2024 continue what is your desired job title so this is actually asking you the job title that you are applying for do you understand now one thing i need you to understand is that any job you are applying for try to write your cv to comply with what they are looking for do you get so this is another way also you can also go to that their website any job that you've seen and you see what they listed under there this is what they want from whoever that is going to take up the position so you also copy some of them that's some of the things that you can do don't go and copy what you cannot do and paste in your cv in case of interview okay so these are just the ideas that i'm giving you okay let's say the your uh, desired job that you're applying for is administrative assistance so you have to leave this one and then you continue this is just an instant name of educational institution start dates i'm gonna put any dates continue skills choose your top skills now you see what i'm talking about see suggested i've suggested skills for you scheduling um scheduling um skills administrative support skills inventory control skills so you choose anyone Mm -hmm. as you're tapping on it see these ones here as you're tapping on it as you're tapping on it it will be appearing up to be appearing up here you get so but like i said please ejo pick the ones that you know that you can do mm -hmm. pick the ones like this event planning customer service if you do not do it in your previous hour you don't even know what is it all about please don't pick it in case of interview don't go and be using too much grammar on your cv and then when they call you for interview you will just be murmuring okay so when you're done continue ai assistant at work guys are you seeing what i'm saying see they have given you a summary you understand now go through it Biko, please go through it don't just copy and paste like I said, in case of interview, experienced administrative assistant with a demonstrated ability to provide efficient office. So, when you go through it and you're very sure you understand the English, the big grammars on it, mm -hmm. then it's fine. 
if you're not okay with it you can also um click on this get help with writing you understand you can edit it to your own test you can click on it and then you edit to your own test so this is the first employment that you added this is the first employment that we added remember so if you want to add another one you can click on this add one more employment do you get now this is your education you can also click on add more education if you have now these are your skills so this is another step you can also generate your cover letter so on this employment you're supposed to add your experience remember so what you're gonna do just click on these dots dots click here click here okay to edit it click on edit now come over here so this is not the way it should be do you get we are going to delete this mm -hmm. so you can click ai pre-written phrases are you seeing now immediately you just clicked on it are you seeing the suggestions they brought out for you organize and manage multiple calendars so like i always said please read very well before you add it to your cv make sure that this is what you can do mm -hmm. so if you like it you can click on it you see once you click on it it will appear on this box mm -hmm. so this is the second one maintain inventory of office supplies blah 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 so if you like it click on it it will appear down there click on this one it will appear down there see a lot of them click the ones that you show that is what you can do in case if you are being tested okay so now that you're done you see all of this experience now that you have generated mm -hmm. you are going to copy all of them now paste it on your documents or notes i usually use notes on my phone okay you have document you have whatsapp you have notes so you can paste it anywhere because this website is paid you cannot download this cv after creating it without making payment when you're pasting it on your notes so that you not get confused please write the particular job that you're doing do you get write the particular job that you're doing so we are going back to that website again we are done right now just click on done so go over to your summary do the same thing if you like the summary and you've read it the english you understand it you understand everything about it so what you do you also copy it and paste on your notes copy go over to your notes whatsapp document wherever you want to paste it paste it and then write summary so that you will not get confused okay summary we are going back to the website the second website we're going to use is called flowcv.com okay so once you head to your google type flowcv.com like i said you can use any website you want but i'm just giving you these two these are the two that i work with so click on get started is free click on view templates so there are different templates so right now this is where you have to be mindful of the template that you're using right now if you're creating european cv you're creating american cv you're creating canadian cv it's advisable to go to google and type okay let me just show you what i mean go to google and type let's assume you want to create european cv go to google type european cv format european cv formats or sample are you seeing the samples um these are the samples they're giving you right so come back to the website look for the template that has that format of the country that you're doing the cv for do you get so these are the templates these are the templates so let's go with this let's try this click on use this template 
Type your full name, save, education, field of study, biochemistry, school, Abia State University. So for this one, it is free, but you can only use it once. So what you're going to do right now, because they're not going to give you that AI suggestions. So we're going back to the note to copy what I got from the other website and I'm going to paste it here. But I would advise if you are doing yours, please don't just copy and paste. Make some adjustments. Okay. I'm going to copy the summary. So I'll head back to the website and then I'll paste it here save click on save professional experience click on the plus this employer means the company the name of the company that you worked for do you get so you use m and m job title remember we used administrative assistant city blah 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 so you're gonna impute start dates march year um 2020 2016 months and dates months august year i'm just using this to show you sample okay so description so i'm heading back to the notes this is the description this is my description i'm going to copy it I'll head back to the website and then i will press and hold then click on paste now if you look at it, it is not well arranged look at what you're gonna do first of all put the full stop full stop mm -hmm. so but before you paste please i beg you you have to read it you have to make some adjustment don't just copy and paste okay make some adjustments when you're done look at next thing you're gonna do you have to arrange this click here click here or you can use this you can use any one you want okay but i'm going to use this you see so click at the beginning of each sentence to get at the beginning of each sentence so this is the second one so once you tap on it now tap here you see so we're going to click at the third one, at the beginning of the third one, here, right? As you can see, our arrow is there. Now, click here. You see? So that's what you're going to do to all of them. Now, when you're done, you save. Scale some water. Microsoft Word. When you're done with the skills you save if you want to include something else you click at this plus button if you want to preview we just click here hmm? it will show you how your cv looks like in case you don't like this template you can always go back to change the template see where you have to click click here to change the template so you can use any templates let's try this one use templates click on preview again down here so this is it you see mine is empty because i'm just doing this for the sake of this video we are done with filling all of those things click here to download so before you can download it you have to create account with them account so you see immediately you create accounts with them your resume will be downloaded automatically do you get one thing about this website is that you can only use their template once to create resume you can use it once they're not going to allow you use it twice if you come back the second time they will ask you to um you know pay for it but another way you can also use it is uh, you can log out after creating the cv you can log out and then you create another one and you and use another email to download it that way you can download it again now i'm going to drop other websites free website that you can use to create your cv 
if this video is helpful to you please do me a favor to like subscribe and if you have any questions drop it in the comment section i'll be glad to attend to your questions see you guys in my next video Bye bye